need to improve, he'll tell you, you know, you need to do that. And then um, he'll let you know at the same time that you're doing a great job. So uh, I think more than anything, um, his words meant a lot to me just because they're, I know they're real. So, you know, stay in the front here. Uh, so I have two questions. Mm -hmm. There's really a big fundamental difference between North Carolina basketball and Villanova basketball. Can you sort of comment about what you guys do and what they do and what's going to be the key factor that you think for each team? Yeah. Um, I think they want to play more of a slow-paced game, um, and we work, we always want to play up-tempo. And then um, also, you know, people have been talking about they have this so-called Philly tough um, mindset. I don't know what that means, but um, I think we're pretty tough. Um, you know, I think myself, I'm, I'm pretty tough. And at the end of the day, it's just all about going out there and just playing. And uh, I think that, you know, the difference is just that they want to play a slow pace. We want to play up-tempo. So. Go ahead. The second question I have is, you guys have won all of your tournament games by double digits so far, relatively similar to the 2019. Um, and Roy has mentioned that team to you guys. So how much has that team's success and how they played and their style influenced you guys and contributed to your success this tournament? Yeah, um, all year coaches have been um, relating us to them. And um, I think that just goes to show how, how good of a team we are. I mean, coaches have been through it all and be able to – or well, for him to compare us to the 2009 team is such a, you know, a great thing, and um, you know, I, I take pride in that. And uh, he said, you know, when he told them, you know, they had to buckle down on the defensive end, um, you know, that's when they got better. And I think when, in the ACC tournament, I think that that was our time with us, you know, buckling it down on the defensive end, and um, that changed our whole season around, and it changed our outlook on, you know, how we can play. We just don't have to necessarily you know, rely on the offensive end all the time. We know that we can sit down and guard someone. So, um, you know, to be able to uh, be compared to that team, you know, that's a great thing for us. Come back, right? So, not going to lie, I was going to ask you about the matchup with Villanova's guard play, but you just mentioned Rasheed Wallace. So, I got to know, like, I'd rather talk about him. Like, what's the best piece of advice he gave you? Or, like, you got a good story? What, what's it like having him around and helping you out? Um, like I said, he doesn't sugarcoat anything. So, if there's something that you need to work on, he'll tell you, and he doesn't have a problem with that. And, um, but if you're doing good, at the same time, he'll let you know, you know, you need to keep that up. And um, he's been through it all as well. And, you know, he's one of those, you know, tough players that, you know, really doesn't doesn't care about anything. He just goes out there and, um, you know, plays with a chip on his shoulder. And uh, it wasn't necessarily one specific thing that he said to me, but just over the course of him coming back uh, to, to Carolina, um, just everything he said to us uh, motivational-wise has helped me and, it, and it's helped some of the people on our team as well. What did you say to 